Polar Digital Solutions. Excited to have you along for tonight's broadcast featuring the Lamar's Galen Catholic Jays versus your hometown Harley Melvin Sanborn on Senior Night for the Hawks. We'll be back to break it all down right after this on Fuller Digital Solutions. Trustworthy, honest, and hardworking. The same traits that make a great employee make a great bank. For 125 years, Savings Bank of Primgar, Hartley, and Lake Park has been going the extra mile providing banking to farms and small businesses in Northwest Iowa. Savings Bank of Hartley prides itself on knowing you, your operation, your goals, and your future plans to help you along the way so you can focus on what you do best. Stop in today or visit them online at savingsbankia.com. Whether you are combining, hauling grain, or heating your home, fuel powers the fall. When it comes to energy, you need a company who is trustworthy, understands your needs, and who delivers to you. A company who is local, reliable, and affordable. That company is Ag State. Ag State Energy is clean, comfortable, convenient, while staying competitively priced for our customers. Give Laura Sanguin or Seth Duff a call for all your energy needs. The Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks. At Century Mutual, we're always focused on dedicated, personalized service for you. Serving customers in 27 Northwest Iowa counties for over 130 years. As a proud Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, we'll be there when you need us most. Helping protect all that's important to you, including your future. With Grinnell Mutual, you can trust in tomorrow. Contact your local Century Mutual Insurance Association agent today. Located in more than 50 local communities. Trust in Tomorrow is a registered trademark of Grinnell Mutual Reinsurance Company. Senior, right guard, number 16. El Grisma Agency in Sanborn, real estate and insurance. For 40 years, El Grisma Agency has been helping clients sell homes, businesses, farms, and more. Using strategic marketing, your for sale will turn into sale pending soon. El Grisma Agency is proud to be a part of the HMS community and supports the Hawks all season on and off the field and court. Contact El Grisma Agency when you're ready to sell. Visit us online at elgrismaagency.com. Welcome back and thanks for joining us for this Class A1 District Battle. Head coach Jay Eilers and the Harley Melvin Sanborn Hawks are one and six after a great team win over Sibley achieved in the last week and the two games prior to that they played good ball. Um, hopefully they can continue that tonight and get a victory on their way out. Head coach Jeremy Schindler, the Galen Catholic Jays, they're three and four with wins over Alteria, Sibley Ochedon, and South of Bryan. Uh, stand, the standings for the A1 district are Akron Westfield at 6 and 1, Marcus Merritt and Claghorn Rimson Union at 5 and 2, Alteria at 3 and 4, Galen Catholic at 3 and 4, followed by Sidley O'Cheaton at 2 and 5, and Hartley Melvin Sanborn and South O'Brien at 1 and 6. Uh, the four teams that will be advancing to the state playoffs from this district will be Akron Westfield, Marcus Merritt and Claghorn Rimson Union. Alteria and Galen Catholic. Uh, the last two seasons, Hartley Mills Center made it to the playoffs and made it all the way to the quarterfinals before they lost. Um, kind of a rebuilding year for Coach uh, Eilers. Um, looking forward to, I'm sure, next year bringing back uh, the sophomores and juniors that he has in the program. Uh, we will be right back to get some comments from the Hawks head coach, Jay Eilers, on his seniors. Rural customers deserve great internet too. You deserve Evertech's No Limits Internet and the quality local services that comes with it. We've dedicated 32 years to bring customers like you reliable and unlimited internet, up to 50 megabits across 22 counties. It's internet you can count on. Call or email our Everly office to get started. You and your family need internet with unlimited use, no contracts, and no overages. You need Evertech. Visit evertech.net to learn more. Evertech, internet where you live. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. And like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. 
see, that's my greatest. MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help, and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. For over 80 years, Farm Bureau Financial Services has served the unique needs of the ag industry. As members of your community, we get to know you and your operation, providing coverage for your farm, ranch, machinery, livestock, and so much more. Find out why we're the number one ag insurer. It's your future. Let's protect it. In Primgar, your Farm Bureau agent is Danielle Rayner. Number one ag insurer across our eight-state territory. 2018 SNL PNC Group Directorate and Premium. Welcome back to tonight's game. Uh, earlier uh, this week, I talked to Coach Jay Eilers um, about his seniors. And uh, one thing that uh, I picked up from Coach Eilers in the two or three weeks that we talked to him is he realized the importance of winning the game and putting his best product on the field. But he's more into the mentoring of these young men and making them, making them leaders and uh, ready for the world and uh, good community people. That's an importance to him. And uh, he had some comments about the seniors, and I'll be right back with those. Probably the biggest thing that we do a little bit different than a lot of schools is the live work side of the world. So when we teach our students, we actually, if you look around the shop and see what they're working on, in most cases it's a customer car, and so they get real world application. Our engineering design program is basically drawing components, manufacturing of the components, and then we get into the inspection of the components. So they got to create it, make it, and inspect it just as they would in industry. Sanborn Savings Bank, Sanborn's hometown bank since 1899. Because we are your hometown bank, we understand the importance of offering you a wide range of financial services to help you meet your financial goals. We have checking, savings, and certificate of deposit accounts that will help you manage your money. We offer all types of loans for your individual needs. We are always ready to work with you to design a program to meet your financial needs. Sanborn Savings Bank, proud to support the HMS Hawks, member FDIC. Bismarck Graphics in Sanborn, your one-stop sign shop for everything from vehicle wraps, lettering, fleet graphics, signs of all kinds, race car wraps, power sport wraps, banners, logo design, business cards, or even color change vehicle wraps. Everything is done in-house with top-of-the-line equipment. Stefan and Ashley Seabisma employ an experienced and knowledgeable staff who are ready to work for you. To help get you noticed, visit cbisma-graphics.com. Find us on Facebook or call 712-729-7446. Welcome back to tonight's game. Like I said, uh, Coach Jay is a, a positive influence on the team, on the community. He had nothing but positive things to say about his 10 seniors. On Bryce Ortega, his willingness to learn and play multiple positions in the offensive line, anchored a defensive line versus a run, last in the playoffs, had huge shoes to fill in the playoffs, and did a great job. On Adam Sheerholtz, HMS has gained over 8,300 yards with this dude at offensive guard. Does an amazing job of moving people against their will. Bradley Van Beek, his sophomore year coming in and starting the last game of the regular season and never giving that position up has been awesome to see. He has to run miles on pole schemes for us, but he does an amazing job at it. Austin Smith filled in a huge playoff game as a junior and been a great addition to our team, school, and community. Evan Eilers, tough, grit, truly has shown that he has a passion and love for the game. To see him go from starting center to tight end has been fun and a blessing to coach my youngest. Ethan Huberg, huge man, this guy from the time I met him used the word special. He is special and plays the game the right way, under control and dominating. Aiden Esplin, leadership, no matter his situation, he's willing to put others ahead of himself and be a leader that pushes players to continue to battle and compete their tails off. His leadership of coming back from an injury is a testament for his passion for, for the competition. Zach Pearson, so blessed to see him come back off of football and see him grow on the field and make big plays for us. Very coachable and absolutely fun to coach. Junior Ariza, toughness. The, play, the plays he has made on the defensive side of the ball over the last two years are impressive. A na natural knowledge for leverage and truly thankful he has stayed out and finished his career as a Hawk. 
never gets too high or low, just continues to lead by example. And finally, Ethan Wiersma, our engine. Man, this kid has a passion for life and competition, loves working his tail off, and his value is second to none. Now the starting alliance for Lamar's Galen. Okay, hey, we're going to give some credit out here. We're doing it with the seniors and so on, but folks, you missed the, the singing of our national anthem. Outstanding. An old high school principal who really enjoyed the music side of school here. Jordan Lux, young lady from HMS, just did a beautiful rendition of the national anthem for us here tonight. This cold, crummy night, but it's a great night for football. Galen, we're going to go with the offense. Wide receiver, number 22, Brant Klein. Another wide receiver, Chance Carlson, number 21. Left tackle is number 50, Gabe Wilkin. Left guard, William Harpenoff, 54. Our center tonight is Dane Lehman, 6 foot, 260, big kid. Right guard, number 55, Brady Dog Miller, 6'3, 190 pounds. Right tackle, Nolan Niles, number 60, tight end, number 5, Dylan Pecos. He's a punter as well. Wide receiver is Landon Ryder. Uh, Landon is number 11. Our quarterback tonight, Cole McCarty, he likes to run the ball. He's a good athlete. Halfback, Cale Pearson. Another good runner coming in on 1,000 yards, number 33. Our kicker tonight is Dylan Pecos. Defense, quickly, uh, Dylan Pecos, number 5, DN, 200 pounds. Nose tackle, number 60, Nolan Miles, 6'3", 205. Defensive end, 6'4", Dane Lehman. Linebacker, William Harpenon, number 54. Uh, left linebacker, Gabe Wilkin, number 50. Line, middle linebacker, Cole McCarty, doubles his quarterback, number 10 at linebacker. And number 33, the other linebacker, Kale Peterson. Cornerback, uh, number 22, Grant Klein. Linebacker, Jake Bogan, number 2. Our safety is Landon Ryder, number 11. And the cornerback is number 21, Chance Kelson. Now for the Hawks' defensive starters at and Bradley Van Beek. Defensive tackle, Adam Sheerholtz. Nose guard, Ethan Huberg. And the other end is Evan Eilers. Linebackers are Zach Pearson, Ethan Wiersma, Blake Meandering, and J.R. Ariza. With cornerbacks, Jaden Leff, Slayton McCarter, and James Gellerman at safety. The offensive lineup for the Hawks tonight, the tight ends are Evan Eilers and Blake Meandering. Tackle, Ethan Huberg. Guard, Adam Sheerholtz. Center, Austin Smith. The other guard is Bradley Van Beek. The other tackle is Alex Billing. The wing is Zach Pearson. The fullback is Ethan Wiersma. Quarterback, Jack Maspergen. And the running back, James Gellerman. Here we go, Brute. Here we go. We're ready to kick off. we got kicker Lorenzo Fanzalan. He kicks it off, and he bangs it down there pretty deep. we got to toss it off his head and through the end zone. So we already got a slick football tonight. We knew that. So it's going to be a fun night. I'll tell you, these Hartley Hawks, uh, one and six. But, boy, we've seen them now three times, and they're certainly a better football team than that. They got big guys up front. They attack the ball. Uh, a few mistakes get them here and there, but uh, they're going against the Jays. And the Jays are uh, four and three or three and four, I believe. They're, in the, they're ready for the playoffs. And so it's HMS's night to be the spoilers. I think tonight it's important that they take one play at a time with the slippery weather condition stuff. They got to focus every play. Exactly. And here Galen comes out, spread right, spread left. But they're a running team. They're in the shotgun. And uh, we're in a 40 two here on HMS. It's ball inside to our fullback, our 1,000-yard rusher. They figure he'll get it tonight. Just a couple yards. I'm telling you, those those big tackles crash down hard. Nice play on defense. Maybe got one yard. I think it's going to be a lot of the run game tonight. Yeah. A lot it's, of the run uh, game. You know, it passes probably short passes, but you know, HMS throws the ball pretty well, and they're not afraid to throw it. Uh, so uh, last week it was cold and it was crummy, and and, and uh, they were throwing the ball that night. So here we go. They come up again. There's split two receivers each side. We're back in shotgun. We're in that 42 on defense here, and snap comes out to number 11. He gets the ball again, and uh, you know, it's three yards in a cloud of dust, but they're getting about one. I think they shut him down clean there. You could look at third and nine. Could be a puddle of water too in addition to the cloud of dust. Yeah, and it's going to be tough to get the ball off. And HMS is fired up, you know. Listen to those guys come out. Uh, senior night. Good crowd. Yeah, good crowd. Good senior night. Ready for the field. Same formation. Uh, we got we got double receivers on both sides. 
sec, uh, third down and nine. Here's the fake here we go. Right side. They get nothing out of it. So here we are. Here we are. First down and only nine with ten and a half left. Nice job in there by HMS. Cole McCarty on that run, and he got nothing out of it. Back to receive the punt is Gellerman, number four. Last week we were in here, he was uh, he was a one-man wrecking crew. He was. I, the two games we saw him play, he had to, he had to have 150 yards each game minimum. Probably so 15 Gellerman tackles back there. We got a west win. He might be a smidge deep. Here we go. Do that side kick, it hits the ground, and it dies right there. Looks like it's about on the 42-yard line. Looks like one of your pitching wedge there, Jerry. HMS is going to be in good shape to start this off. And you start smacking that ball with Gellerman, and, uh, you know, these guys can run the ball. Mastenberger, he's a great quarterback out there. Yard line, 10 4 left to play in the first quarter. Galen likes the forefront as well. They've got some good-sized kids. They attack the football. They want to wear you down just a little bit, but, you know, HMS got some big kids up front, and there you're in that power formation. you got the slot. you got the power back up. Ball comes back. Massburgen gets it. He runs to the left side. He gets about three. Back he comes. Second and eight. Uh, Just under ten minutes. Gellerman. I'm sorry, that was Gellerman with the ball. Yep, direction after Gellerman. Three yards. Right to the running back. Mass brings up second and seven. Looks like uh, Galen's inside there are slanting right into those A gaps. And Jack Massberg and their quarterback, he's just one of those leaders that makes everybody better. Kind of like the point guard in basketball. I mean, and there's times he, he's lead blocker. Yep. Here we go again, Massberg and back in the eye. They're in that power formation. Pull back over the left guard. Again, there it goes to Gellerman, and he just puts his head down, and away he goes, and I he think may be gone. gone. There he is. Taking to the house. I'm telling you, that guy is a five-star Taking to the guy. house. He does, he punts, Man. He plays defense. You know, you, you, people would think he's our kid. He's he, he going to be playing on Saturdays. Yeah, that kid's a ball player. He's going to be playing on Saturdays. Nice job out there, and I'm telling you, he just puts his hand on the fullback, and he looks for a little light when he gets out. He's got some wheels. So that was about a 40-yard touchdown run. So right now. Now HMS is up six to zip. We'll see if they go for two or we'll go for the go for the kick. Nine thirteen left in the first quarter. That was about a forty-five yard run, wasn't it, yeah, Rude? Yeah, it was. Here we go. Massenberger's back. Gellerman's back. And the snap back. Uh, Ball comes. That goes to Gellerman. Gellerman. He walks right in. Side and he's in for two. They went away from that power side. And Galen was right. standing hard to that power side. He walked right at 8 nothing. So here we go. And now we're heading to our, one of our sponsors. Take a break. Galen Catholic. A little break. We come back to Hartley on KO. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video with one remote. Use voice activation to find everything faster or set a one pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi Fi devices with the free View It app. Contact TCA to experience TiVo today. Welcome back to tonight's broadcast. Uh, Hartley Melvin Sanborn with a, their first drive, very impressive. Scored in three plays, put them up eight to nothing with nine minutes left. What'd you think of that, Brood? You know, I, I look at that, and both those kids back there are juniors. Yeah. So you know, they got something really good to build on. Uh, that big offensive line is going to have their feet planted tonight in this cold sod out here, four and a half inches of rain. So, but here we go, and HMS is kicking off, and we have Lorenzo again, and he's he's got the signal. Bangs another one down there, and here we go. Good kick. Good Over kick. His head, and that goes in the end. end nice kick in there. So here we go with the 8-0 lead. That's going to be kind of the uh, the and, uh, of the game tonight. We'll see if Galen can respond. Looks to me like the Hawks brought their A game tonight. Yeah. Like they have the last couple weeks. And it's uh, really good to watch these guys. We see those those big tackles down inside. You know, if, if you look, Ethan Huberg, I mean, he, he just hard to move. He's, uh, he's a rock out there. Yeah, he's 285 pounds, and he's 6'7", and, you know, I mean, he's a flat belly. Here we go, two splits out to each side. And here we're in the backfield again. We're in that shotgun. 
From the 20 oh, McCarty gets the ball, hands it up the middle, and he breaks one. Oh, he gets about seven yards. Nice run in there. I believe that was Cale Peterson. And uh, he's quick. Troy, he's quick. He gets yeah, loose, and I'm telling you, it's going to take Gellerman to catch him. He's one of those high motor guys. Yeah, now you can see why they're three in the nine playoffs. Minutes. And uh, they figured he'll get his 1,000 yards tonight. But, man, he hit that hole quick. Little trap play. Here we go again. We're in a 42. we got a monster on the left side. we got two receivers on this side, one on the other. No, no, we split way deep. Again, we give it to Cole. Oh. Cale Peterson, he got hit hard. He got, he got rocked on that one. Yeah. Who was it? I see a four. 57 and 48. I'm bit. telling you what, they third came in there and a yeah, little slobber knock on that. Evan Eilers does a nice hit in there. And of course, you always got Ethan Huberg in there. Here we go again. So we're looking at third and two. Same thing. We've got two receivers each side. Now we're under center. Cole McCarty under center there. He comes back. He gets the QB, and I, I think he got it. He yeah, got the first like down. That up. First down, they're moving the chains. You know, when you got a quarterback that'll play linebacker, you know he's tough. So uh, expect him to run the ball a little bit tonight. And yeah, we've already seen Kale, and he does a nice job running the ball. Kale Peterson. Come up again. We're in that 42. We're in a cover three in the back. You got Gellerman at free safety. He's almost just like spying right in there on McCarty at quarterback. Oh, we got a loop. We got a penalty. Whistle prior to the snap. Got over McCarty's head. But we got a penalty. Probably somebody moved on offense. We're going to back him up five yards. He's facing south. It is a dead ball for legal procedure penalty. So it'll be second down. And okay, first and 15. 15. First and 15. Here we go. First and 15 with 734 in the game. 8 0. HMS is leading. Hawks scored first on about a 42 yard run by Gellerman. Showed some speed. Here we go. We've got uh, double slots and double splits on the outside. McCarty's under center. McCarty kicks the ball, comes back, hands that off to Kale Peterson, and away he goes. No, that's oh. number two, Jake Bogan. And Joe gets some really nice yards on that. That looks like about a 25-yard gain. Ran out of bounds just nice over job. 50. You know, they might be keying a little bit on Peterson and slipped one right out of there. It's a pickup of 24. Jake right at well, we the 50-yard line. We got a first down. First and 10 with 7.13 left. Right on the 50-yard line. I don't believe they started the clock there, Brood. Wasn't it 7.13 before that? Could have been. Somebody might have been asleep at the wheel. Here we go again. McCarty's in the shotgun. Ball comes back. He rides out number two. Nice job in there by number 68. Great play. Is that Bradley? Van Beek? Bradley Van Beek, big Brad. He comes in there, 267 pounds, shuts that down. Got a one-yard loss on that. Another one of tonight's seniors. Another one of them, yeah. I'm telling you, 10 seniors, you can't beat that. And uh, looks like those defensive ends are playing it straight, too. They had a guard pull on him, and he fought that off. Here we go. Double slots, double splits, single back in the backfield. McCarty's under center. He rolls out. The the give is to Bogan. He Again, Bogan gets oh, it and he outside. dances around in there. Gets about three yards. Nice, uh, about three yards. You're looking at third and seven. Little little bend, but not break there. There's uh, Gellman with another tackle coming yep. up out of that safety. Third down right away here for Galen Catholic. Just here we go. HMS is playing it straight. Haven't seen much blitzing yet. Here they come out in the 42. Gellerman, he lines up right over the quarterback at safety. Third and seven. Got double slots, double splits. And again, we got Bogan in the backfield. Comes out, he's a throw. No, he faked me out. Bogan got snuffed right away. Nice job in there. I'll tell you, Ethan Huber just stuffed him right there. Fourth down, they'll probably punt here. Looks uh, like the punt like team's Brady, coming in. Uh, Gellerman looks back. Yeah, you want me to receive? He's asking. Yes, he does. Yeah, fourth and seven, kind of at this point. No, what, did you update the score? Really you got eight to nothing on the score. We'll try and pin the Hawks deep and see if Here we go. Our punter. 
Number eight back there. Here comes the ball. He gets it low. Oh, it's blocked. It's blocked. Ball rolls out. And the Hawks are going to get it on the 38 yard line. Hawk ball, 5 16. It's just hustle, Troy. I'm telling you, you know, Galen looks Galen looks a little lethargic here. And the HMS is getting out. The last week they started off kind of that same way. Yeah. And it's not like it's a major road trip. Yeah. And I know it's a crummy night, but. I just think Hartley Melvin Sanborn is just playing with a little fire. Well, this last you and I weeks. both know. We it's just think their we just think their record doesn't speak for the style of football these kids play. Here they come up, you know those big old offensive linemen. Tight splits. Got the fullback back there in the power. Here we come back. There it goes to Gellerman, but we got a movement. Look like we got a movement here on the outside. Going to make it first and fifteen. They're going to have to start in a little bit of a hole. When they get in that power eye, they're going to turn that light off. Power football position. You have a tendency to want to, you know, you have a tendency to want to shift into that power. So they pull the fullback right under, and when they do that and they run opposite, Gellerman finds that slice yep. in there. Yeah, here they are again, like, right now. They're in that, they're in that power with that fullback over the right guard. Let's see where they hand. They, they shoot it right straight back to Gellerman. Now he's going power side, and that's where all the bodies are. Yeah. We get nothing. We lose two yards. Well, we might gain a yard. That was there. a good read by the Jays. Yep. It's going to be second down and about 12. Well, he got two or three yards. And down about 13 to go. The Jays and Hawks have to peel themselves away from the pile. Here we go, and the, the Jays have stiffened up here. They need to shut him down here to get back in. This Gellerman's coming back in the huddle after picking his gloves up. The line of uh, they come out of the huddle. Cheryl Smith and Van Beek and Billings did a good job on that first first drive. Now they're getting bottled up a little bit, so we'll see how this plays out. Burgers in the shotgun. We're in the power left position. Here we go. We're following power. We got a big old guard out here. It makes a great block. Gellerman, you'd one tackle. One guy doesn't tackle him. Again, he picks up about 14 yards. You know, down to the Hawks, 40. We got about 60 yards already tonight, and we have got 422 in the first quarter. First and 10. Nice run. 46. Yeah, I'll tell you what. When Van Beek came around there, I mean, you know, he, he had fire in his eyes, and he just popped that cornerback out of there, and the off went Gellerman. It's going to be a quick game tonight, Brood. Run the ball. Run the ball. Yep. I'm just, I'm just very impressed with how these kids come off the ball. Here we go. We're in that power right position. We're in the wing right. Come out, Mastenberger's in shot, and he fakes it, and no going. Loss of about one. Harpenau comes up there, and another play. The Jays read that well too. Yeah, and, and he's blind on that. He's hoping that he misses that slot so he can pop through there. You know, it's a good play call. You kind of give your guy up if he's, you know, if, if they're playing it straight like they did. And his helmet on the chest, and that's what happened. We lose the yard. So here we go now. HMS is in the huddle. Galen's in the four. Looks like uh, they're still going with a four front. Here we go. Galen looks like they're in a 44, and they're in the power right position again. Here comes the ball, goes to Gellerman, he's reading it, he's trying to get through, he gets about four yards. That was a good block by their second eight. fullback, Our Ethan, third eight. Ethan Wiersma put on a good block there. Yeah, yeah he did. Gain of Three four. minutes, 11 seconds, eight and zip. Third down and eight. Now more third down and nine. I think they throw the ball here. They aren't afraid to throw it. And you've got Galen. You got nine kids within seven yards of the football. Be a good time to pull that ball out and toss it to the outside, but they're in that power position. They've all got everybody in the box. Looks like a run. Oh, no. They're going back to pass. First pass of the game. Deep in the pocket. Throws left side leg. Oh, I'll tell you, that receiver did a really nice job of fighting that thing off. They were both fighting for that. I mean, Evan Eiler. Good no call. That thing could have been a. Could have been picked off. Now we have to clear that window or open it. We got people saying at home that they can't see through the glass. Yeah, if you open it. Yeah, go ahead and crack it. So here we go, fourth down and nine. We'll see if HMS kicks this thing. And it'll be Gellerman back to boot it away. 
Here we go. Gellerman to punt it away for the Hawks. Let's see if Gellerman can put them in better position than they're in right now. Ryder is back, number 11 for the kick. If he sports it over here to the left side, gets off a quick one. Nice punt. Good punt. Ryder gets that ball. He misses one tackle. And they get him down right at the 20-yard line. Nice job out there. Good coverage by the Hawks. So here we are. And uh, we're going to take a little break here. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video with one remote. Use voice activation to find everything faster. Or set a one-pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home. Or browse and view on Wi-Fi devices with the free View It app. Contact TCA to experience TiVo today. Picked up. Savings Bank of Kerngar, Hartley, and Lake Park has been serving Northwest Iowa for over 125 years, providing personal, hardworking, and friendly service to its customers and community. Savings Bank of Hartley offers personal, ag and business banking, online and mobile banking solutions, along with many lending options. Savings Bank loan officers will sit down and do the hard work to ensure you get exactly what you need. Stop by and see what they can do for you or visit them online at www.savingsbankia.com. Okay, here we're back again, folks. Had to get that window cleaned off, but we can't get it open. It's not designed to open, but... So here we are, update you real quick, minute 40. First and 10 for Galen. Had a nice long run out here that we probably missed on broadcast. But Ball's on the 31. Kind of a crummy night, so we're, we're doing a lot of duties. So here we go. Jays are up, first and 10. We're in that 42. The monster, we got splits on each side, split slots. Here we go, McCarty's getting the ball. Looks like he's running a little option. And he gets some pretty good yards. Looks like he's going to get about four and a half yards on that play. I think we're going to have to throw a squeegee in the car next time, Brood. <laughs> Second down on these nights. Oh, Hopefully that's the end of the rain, but who knows the way it's been the last few days. Second and five with one minute left in the first quarter. 58 seconds, second down and five. Cole McCarty's in the shotgun, double slots, double splits. And we've got Jake in the running game. Bogan in the backfield. And here we go. Oh, McCarty finds a big hole. To the 45, 40. He's down to the 30 yard line. Tall and they catch him about the 22. Nice run in there by McCarty. Found himself a slice and away he went. And down to the 25 Just a yard. Sophomore. Nice job in there. So Galen's answering here. First and 10 at the 22. We knew they'd wake up. Sometimes when you make that road trip, even if it's a small one, it kind of takes your kids a few plays to get their mind into it. Exactly. Okay, here we go now. Again, split slots. Split uh, this receivers. Be the last play of the first quarter. Allen's down eight. We've got McCarty lines up in the gun. We've got Pearson in the backfield. He gets the ball. He makes a cut. Way across the twenty. He's we make a one-legged tackle in there. Nice well, job by Gellerman. Well, not after he gained about six or seven. Second down and about four. So it's going to be second down and. Four. Second and four upcoming, and as the clock winds down, and the first quarter we go, we're gonna we're gonna take a break here. And three, after one, two, it's eight to nothing. One, the Hawks. and we'll be right back with the second quarter. Eight. Savings Bank of Primgar, Hartley, and Lake Park has been serving Northwest Iowa for over 125 years, providing personal, hardworking, and friendly service to its customers and community. Savings Bank of Hartley offers personal, ag and business banking, online and mobile banking solutions, along with many lending options. Savings Bank loan officers will sit down and do the hard work to ensure you get exactly what you need. Stop by and see what they can do for you or visit them online at www.savingsbankia.com. A little more definitive.
Tonight's game is brought to you by Fuller Digital Solutions, who have been in business since 2015, providing live streaming services to 30 high schools in three states, including Iowa, South Dakota, and Mississippi. I know there are son-in-laws brewed, but Dave and Simon have done a heck of a job. Yeah, you know, started this from its infancy. Started and I mean, three schools, maybe the first year. Mm -hmm. Being an old principal at South O'Brien, when, when these guys started, uh, you know, I think we were, you know, one of the first five or ten schools on and now it's you know they do they do weddings and they do funerals they do uh, you know multiple events now with it and so it's really a great deal well here we are and uh, Galen is threatening they're on the 20 yard line ball comes back to McCarty in the shotgun he gives it oh he bobbles that thing and it, oh my goodness almost picked off I'll tell you what that was a, that was a uh, nice play in there by Zach Pearson of HMS <laughs> just about picked that off and he was in space. Had that. Zach Pearson yeah. had that McCarty did you see him he had a double clutch with that football because it kind of slipped out of his hand so that was their first pass and uh, yeah he looked pretty good kind of uh, like Mahomes out there with a little jump pass fading the other way mm -hmm. and his receiver was open just through behind him and uh, Zach Pearson, I, he'd like another stab at that because, boy, he had some he, he had some room there. Here we go again in the shotgun, double splits, double slots. Now he rides that out, and off he goes. Just like before, he rides that out on on uh, his fullback, Pearson, and then cuts it up inside. And, you know, and we're looking at fourth and ones. So this is a huge play right down here. I'm kind of so impressed how they, the field's looking, Brood. Huh? I'm kind of impressed on how the field's looking. It is, yeah. You know, four and a half inches. I, I checked my gauge this morning. I was almost five. And that, and it rained after that. I was I was afraid to go out and look. You know, the Little Sioux River is about dry. But uh, I could see it was coming up. But here we are, double slots. We got uh, Bogert in the backfield. He's under center. And here we go. Gives it to Bogert. Oh, the Hawks showed up. Holy mackerel. Who was that? Let's get a number on that. Man, he just scored. It in there was that 44. Is that Weersman? I'm telling you what, I'll, I'll give him credit for it. Pound senior. He caught him about a half a second after he got the football. So, Hawks ball. Nice defensive play. Nice defensive stand. And uh, we got we're going into the wind here, and Gellerman's in the backfield. Galen had their chance there. And uh, Pearson, I'm just surprised he wasn't in the backfield. So here we go. And we're in that power right position again. Got Gellerman. And here goes Gellerman. And he just, you know, he watches for his, his opening. He, you know, pheasant trots a little bit there. And when he finds his opening, he just bursts through it. It's about eight and a half, nine yards on that. You nice don't job. see high school kids with that much patience following their blockers and setting up. The no, and I, and I think when you got those great big old butts in front of you he's got some honkers in front of him that he can he can uh, uh you know you, you you know that those wide bodies are going to move people out of there for you here we go again we got weirs up on the right side Power eye, or uh, that, that power position. Gellerman back there. Massenberger gets it, hands it to Gellerman. Here comes that nice pull. Oh, there's gang tackle going on there. Well, Gellerman cut just a smidge too early, and uh, he followed his back around the corner, but never going to fault his reads. But he got a first down, and that's what he needed. And here we go, first and ten. 10:24. We got eight to zip now. HMS is on top. 20 seconds to the play here. First and ten. Here they come out of the huddle. Where's my fullback? Goes up behind his guard on the right side. We're on the power right. Gellerman in the backfield. Slot to the right. Ball comes out. Straight to Gellerman. Gellerman goes weak side. Slices through there. It's about two yards. Battles for everything he gets. It'll be uh, second and eight. And that's, that's where they want to catch him slanting in. If they slant in, that's you know, gives them about to the free safeties before they're on it. But it's one-on-one -on -one for him. He doesn't have blockers on that side when they run to that weak side. But you got to remember, you, you got Hubert over there, you know, and he's, he's kind of two guys. Here we go again, power right, Weersmith up front, comes back to Massenberger. Here it goes to Yellerman. He reads his way through. It's going to be about third down and five. He got a couple yards on it. Yard line. 
Galen staying in that 42, and you know they pursue well. They they get to the ball quickly. They might be setting something up here, Brood. Yeah, maybe get Gellerin outside. Yeah, a little screen pass wouldn't be bad here. They ran a nice screen last time. A drag across the middle. You know we haven't heard from from uh, McCarter. You know number 14. Last week he made some really nice catches. Yeah, he's an athletic receiver. Big, tall, athletic yep, receiver. Yeah, there he is. He's at tight end. If they run a drag with him or if they're just going to stay on the ground. It's a straight snap right to Gellerman. He's looking. Here he goes. It looks like they shut him down. Got about two and a half yards. It's going to be fourth down and long two. Fourth and two. With and I'm sure they'll punt this. Looks like HMS may be going for You know what? You think about it. They're the spoiler. They said, you know what? Well, we came to play roll up our sleeves, no fair dodging, unless they decide they're going to try to get him to jump off sides. They've been going on one on everything. Let's see if we can, if it's going to be a jump play or if they're going to actually run this ball again. They're on the power right side, wheels us up front. He snaps to Gellerman. Oh, going. On the right side. He smashes through. Ooh. He threw, picked it up. And he got it. You know, he just slices. He needed as a defensive player, the, the You know, just like I said, all of a sudden there's a pack of them. It looks like the clown car and the door opens. But when you got Massbergen and, and uh, Gellerman back there, isn't that tough for defense to pick up where the ball's going to be? Well, and then, you, and then you got 280 and 267. And I mean, where's been a fullback picking people up? That's a tough read. It is. Is, especially when you outsize and they have they've got they've got Galen outsized up here and so it's roll up your sleeves no fair dodging you know back Gellerman again Massenberger Gellerman gets it he's looking right he's looking he's looking and here comes his pull guy and he's going to get three yards you know uh, give credit Bradley Van Beek I mean when Brad comes out there excellent you know he uh, Gellerman sets him up and he, he just puts his hat on people running Gellerman has his hand on his back. Yeah, most of the yeah. Time. Follow him right exactly. Yeah. It reminds you yeah. yeah. of the old Viking years, you know, when you, you had uh, Chuck Foreman and he'd put his hand on the back of those guys and just read which way they went. This week, Billy uh, Bazzoni was interviewing Chuck Foreman on KCHE. Really? Oh, I bet he had tears in his eyes. Yeah, he did. Here we go. Good that night. Again, right to Gellerman. Now he goes that weak side. Boy, and I'll tell you what, 54 stepped up there. For them, William Harpinaw popped him. Could be some sore bodies in the morning. Yeah, you, you know, you don't generally get a get a straight shot on Geller. You know, he makes you deflex off of you. He's, a, he's always slicing, turning his shoulders. You know, that's, that's just the mark of a good running back. And here we come back, and Jack Massenberger's got the call from coach. Here they come up, going against that 42 with linebackers on the outside. 44 out there. Here we go, Wearsman's up on the fullback power spot. Massberger is waiting for the ball. He's got the ball, and he's following Gellerman on the outside. Cuts inside, and they shut him down. Again, Harpenau. William Harpenau, he's got some bone in his nose. He's tough, too. He came in there, and he just shut him down. It looks like fourth and six. Looks like the punt team's coming out this time. Down to about five and a half minutes left in the second half. In the first uh, half. In the first half. Looks like the Hawks are going to well, punt. Yeah, and I'll tell you, Galen's uh, coming into their own. They're, they're, uh, they're in a different gear now. 529, second quarter. Landon Ryder back there to see the punt. Yeah. Number 11. Let's see if Gellerman can get off a good punt. It's going to be that kind of ball game tonight. War of attrition. But he's set. He's Here it goes. Gellerman's got it. He gets it quick. quick Hits and bounces. Don't Gale touch it, guys. They all died right there on the 40-yard line. So, Galen's going to get the ball back, and uh, we're going to take a quick little break for our sponsors. And after a drive.
we're back. He came, Pearson. He he came back pretty quick forward. here, and, and Pearson got the ball, and looks like he got about one yard gain. Cole was in the shotgun back there, and he handed off. And seven. So here we go. It's going to be a second down. Long eight on this one. HMS is standing out there in that 44. By and large, there are some... Some, Here we uh, go. Parts of the line where it is I think with the weather, they're only taking but about a 30 minute, 30 second break on the time. They are. Line has we got double slots, double. Second and eight. Oh, and he bobbles that ball. He picks it's the outside. I think it's on the ground. Four, and nope. Nope. Sample and dive on it. He picked it back up. like a forward pass. Yeah, uh, it, it looked a, like it was on the ground there for a minute. The ball looked slippery. They had them set with that slot back straight behind the receivers, way on the outside. And then they X those receivers inside to block. And that was almost disastrous for Galen. Still eight there. The Hawks with four minutes left. Here we go, slot right, slot left, split right. You got McCarty in the backfield. Got ball to Pearson. Here goes McCarty right up the middle. Nice run. He's going to get it pretty close to that first down. Looks like he's going to be about a yard short. Seven yards to the 49-yard line. Nice job in there. I'll tell you what, number 40. He got some good penetration. That's a long one, though. That'll be fourth and about. Where's my he, you know, he's a sticker, too. He rode a lineman back there and dirtied the back of his jersey after he put him on the ground. Like to watch these kids play football. They hit hard. They're bringing some uh, different kids in, whether they're bringing them in. They're getting rid of a couple of linemen. Maybe they fourth and two, and they're going to punt the ball off, Brood. Yeah, maybe they're going to. We're already fourth down. That was quick. I bet they're going to make him jump. Oh, it looks like fake. He's heading outside. Looks like a fake. Picks it up. Ryder got it. Picks up the first down and more. Everything went pretty quick there. They were getting receivers in and out. When you took those receivers out, you took those linemen out. Kind of smelled something was coming. Eight yards oh, on the that keeper. might not be the first fake punt we see tonight, no. and the last. And Galen, so Galen gets a first down on a fake punt. They the needed one. Maybe this is what's going to help break them. we got 303, first and 10. Ball is uh, about at the 43-yard line. HMS in that 42 with those monsters up tight. Here we go. The hand off to Pearson. No, that's our little goal. He makes a, got a flag down. Makes a pretty little cut in there, but it was a two-yard gain. I don't know if it was a face mask or a hold. That was Jake Bogan on that play. Of course, Gellerman's up there to make the tackle. We got a hold. So back him up 10 yards. Good for HMS. Mass and kind of first and twenty. Breaks your will just a little bit, especially after that trick play. Gave him a little momentum there. Two minutes and fifty-six seconds. First and those holding calls are just a momentum killer. It is first and twenty now. So first and twenty under three minutes at the forty-six yard line. Their own forty-six. Galen comes up, double slots, double tight. No, we've got uh, we've got double splits and double slots. Ball snap back to McCarty, and he takes the ball himself. And he's got some room out there, and he picks up about 10 yards. Nice job. He's a pretty good athlete. McCarty's got some quickness. Yeah, he's comparable to Gellerman out there. Mm -hmm. The way he attacks when he's yep. running. Second Slowly down and ten. Good, good run for that sophomore kid. Here we go. HMS is standing at 42 with their backers on the outside. Again, double slots, double splits on each side. You got Bogan in the background, and there he goes. A little option play. Pitch to North Pearson, and he makes a nice run. Looks like he's going to be about two yards short of the first down. Going to make it third and two. Nice run. Uh oh, let's keep our hands off each other, guys. Pick up first down, Bruce. He picked up that first down. Pearson made a nice run there. I don't know what he needed for a thousand, but he's probably got 30 yards tonight. 40. And here we are. Now Galen's challenging him. Back in that 42 cover three, Gellerman's right over in the free safety spot, looking right into McCarty. Gets it back, comes out here, and we got a whistle. 
and generally a that's a false start. By Eilers, the head coach of oh, no. HMS calls a timeout, so timeout we'll be back in just a moment for you. Take our sponsors. Well. We'll be back with the continuation. At Century Mutual, we're always focused on dedicated, personalized service for you. Serving customers in 27 Northwest Iowa counties for over 130 years. As a proud Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, we'll be there when you need us most. Helping protect all that's important to you, including your future. With Grinnell Mutual, you can trust in tomorrow. Contact your local Century Mutual Insurance Association agent today. Located in more than 50 local communities. Trust in Tomorrow is a registered trademark of Grinnell Mutual Reinsurance Company. Is he a senior? Yeah, he's a senior. Oh, okay. El Grisma Agency in Sanborn, real estate and insurance. For 40 years, El Grisma Agency has been helping clients sell homes, businesses, farms, and more. Using strategic marketing, your for sale will turn into sale pending soon. El Grisma Agency is proud to be a part of the HMS community and supports the Hawks all season on and off the field and court. Contact El Grisma Agency when you're ready to sell. Visit us online at elgrismaagency.com. It's been back Welcome to tonight's back, and forth back to tonight's ball, ball game. Moving, but we got a minute 40 left in the first half. HMFS is still up 8 to nothing. Galen's moving the ball. What do you think here, Brood? Here we go, Galen. They're in that, they're again, they're in that shotgun. You got Pearson in the backfield. Ball coming back to McCarty. And we got another whistle. We got a flag thrown. In most cases, you're looking at a procedure penalty when it's that quickly. 54 is saying, no, I didn't move, I don't think. We'll see. Ball starts. We're going to back them up five yards. Be first and 15. Just a minute 40. It just, the coach pulls his hair out on those. Ball in 37, and I think the Jays have all three of their time. Yeah, and I'm sure they just said run the same play, double slots, double splits, back McCarty is. The shotgun, he gets that ball. He runs that right up to Pearson. He misses him. Outside he goes, and he picks up five yards. Gellerman. Yeah. He's, he's tackle. He's pretty, uh, you know, Gellerman makes a tackle on that. The kid's pretty slick. McCarty pulls that out right when the tackler hits him. And, uh, yeah, they've, they've got a pretty good system that rides that, that little beer in there right at the end. Actually, he's running at the linebacker. One fifteen. Here they go again. Same deal. Double splits, double slots. McCarty's in the shotgun. Pearson's in the eye. Rides that in there right to him. Sheds a tackle. He's being dragged. This time he gets shut down. It's going to be third down and 10. 59 seconds. They're going to use a timeout here. Would be wise. No, they're going to let it Jays run. are still sitting on three times. Third down and there. 11. They finally called it. And then we call it. Lost seven seconds on that. El Grisma Agency in Sanborn, real estate and insurance. For 40 years, El Grisma Agency has been helping clients sell homes, businesses, farms, and more. Using strategic marketing, your for sale will turn into sale pending soon. El Grisma Agency is proud to be a part of the HMS community and supports the Hawks all season on and off the field and court. Contact El Grisma Agency when you're ready to sell. Visit us online at elgrismaagency.com. Again, tonight's game is brought to you by Fuller Digital Solutions, who have been in business since 2015, providing live streaming services to 30 high schools in three states, including Iowa, South Dakota, and Mississippi. We got to give a shout out too to our main man here, running the camera, running the computer, setting the commercials, Noah Fuller. He's the man. <laughs> Noah's my 11-year-old grandson, and he's. Troy's 11 year old nephew and he's smarter than both of us yeah, he, he, got, he was he got a two points higher on his ACT than either of us did <laughs> added yeah <laughs> by far okay and here we go again double slots double splits McCarty's out there at the oh can we get him to jump that's oh there we go got free five yards nice job by McCarty so we're gonna back him up it's gonna make it about third and six third and eleven and walk this off third and six 
with 51 seconds left, and the Jays have two timeouts, I believe. Yeah, it's great to see these young kids. Noah just loves football. He's got his championship game, fifth grade championship game Saturday. Number 55, saved the game last week. We are pretty proud of him, but boy, they got some nice kids. Anyway, here we go. McCarty gets that ball. He fakes it. He finds him side, and he's breaking it. He's going to go in. Come on. Sideline 15, 10 to the 5. They catch him about at the two-yard line, it looks like. 43 seconds left, and I'm telling you, he got on his horse, and he took off when he saw that gap. He's the real deal. And we got a Hartley boy down. Let's uh, make sure that everybody's okay here. But it looks like Galen needs someone to step up and he's the man. It looks like the two yard line they made it down to sophomore youngster. Made a nice run but we've got a young man out there and hopefully just a wind or something with him. You know it's just a little thing that you noticed during high school sports. What does Evertech mean to you? It means internet made real easy. No contracts, no hidden fees, and you know best of all it means no limits. Well they are a lot more than just great internet. They have served rural Northwest Iowa internet customers for more than 30 years. It means solid internet at a great price. And it's dependable too. With 24-7 tech support, we know we're always covered. Rural customers deserve great internet too. Get Evertech's No Limits Internet in 20 counties in Northwest Iowa. Okay, and here we're back. Ethan Huber was out there. Looks like a shoulder injury. Ethan's coming out. We've got first and 10 with 43 seconds, and we've got McCarty under center. We've got Pearson in the backfield, getting that ball. I think he made it in. That's a touchdown. 34 seconds, and Galen scores, makes it 8-6. to six. And we'll see if they go for two to tie it or if they're going to kick the extra point. I don't see any flags out there, so that's the first score for Galen. And, uh, and the nice Jays job running the ball down there. Away. This whole drive was set up by the fake punt. Yep, fourth and two, and they went for and got it. We'll see if they Took a chance. <laughs> nope, they're going to run the ball in. Split right, slot right, slot left. Same formation under center as McCarty. He comes back, he finds Pearson, gives him the sweep, he's in. A walk in on Ties it up. 8 8. We're going to step aside for more from our great sponsors for tonight's game. What does Evertech mean to you? It means internet made real easy. No contracts, no hidden fees, and you know, best of all, it means no limits. Well, they are a lot more than just great internet. They have served rural Northwest Iowa internet customers for more than 30 years. It means solid internet at a great price. And it's dependable too. With 24-7 tech support, we know we're always covered. Rural customers deserve great internet too. Get Evertech's No Limits Internet in 20 counties in Northwest Iowa. Okay. So they could get outside and blow. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. And like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. Okay, folks, we're back. We've got 34 seconds left. Our, uh, the, the Jays just scored, so they're going to be kicking off. Gellerman's back there. We'll see if we get a short kick, and we can return this, and probably just going to be one play. Both him and Riser are back there. Riser's back there for the kickoff, too. Yep. So, you know, it was a good time for Galen to get one in, tie this ball game up. Late in the first half, we'll see if Hartley Melvin Sanborn with two we'll see if they can respond on this. The Hawks can, uh, get something going, and uh, Galen the is get on the board. Of course, getting ready, they're waiting for the signal the downfield. Uh, no, excuse me, Hartley Melvin Sanborn. Dylan Pake is kicks that thing off. off. So that would be a big And here we go. We got the ball. That's a rise up. Find yourself a slice. And we got a face mask. And uh, 27 seconds. That's going to move him up 15 yards to about the 47 yards. Yard line. So a nice return, but yeah, he, he grabbed him by the mask, and so that's going to move him ahead another 15 yards. Going to be close to midfield. We'll have to see if Coach Eilers is going to be patient and 
Will be satisfied with the score, 18 head and a half, or if he's going to put the ball up in the air and try to pick up some more. Yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, we we haven't seen Carter catch the ball tonight. Uh, we'll see if he just downs this ball. I don't think so. I think you're going to take a shot at something. And is Galen thinking they're going to throw, and then you just give it off to Gellin, and we got any timeouts? got two left, don't we? Starting the drive from the 46, 27 yeah, seconds left. Maybe break one here for 12, 15, 18 yards. And here they are. They're in that power slot again behind that right guard. Ball comes out. Gellerman this time. He fakes the game to Massbergen. Massbergen got it. No, it's Gellerman. I'm sure they'll just kneel down, let the clock run out. I don't think you'll see another play. Well, they want one. Yeah, it looks like the Hawks are going to try to sneak in one more play before the half. He's going to throw one deep. He got nine seconds on the clock. I think they'll get it off. On second and nine, this will be last play of the half. Oh, and here we go. And Gellerman's running. He's stretching this thing out to the outside. That was pot of bomb in there. Oh, that was harping on in there. And man, he makes a nice hit. So here we are at halftime. We got tie ball game. It's a going a barn burner. 8 to 8. And uh, HMS scored first. About the second, third play of the game. And thanks to a fake punt that kept Galen's hopes alive coming down that last bit with about a minute 57. And uh, big play. Turn around and McCarty runs that down there to the two yard line on about a 25-yard run, and then Pearson tops it off and scores and gets the extra point to make it 8-8. Eight to eight. So we'll go to our sponsors and ready for the second half. MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. For over 80 years, Farm Bureau Financial Services has served the unique needs of the ag industry. As members of your community, we get to know you and your operation, providing coverage for your farm, ranch, machinery, livestock, and so much more. Find out why we're the number one ag insurer. It's your future. Let's protect it. In Primgard, your Farm Bureau agent is Danielle Rayner. Number one ag insurer across our eight-state territory. 2018 SNL PNC Group Direct Written Premium. All that, a little filler, then we'll go to commercials and hopefully, and then if not, we'll just... I chose the NCC CNA course because I just really liked the instructors and the entire NCC community, how welcoming everybody is. And I was able to take it in high school and get it done before I started college. The new facility here at NCC has been great. You've got every tool you can think of. You're never struggling to find something. Just the facility as a whole has been awesome. It makes the learning a lot more interesting and a lot more hands-on. And it's just been great. If he does, if he does, I'll just talk to him. Sanborn Savings Bank, Sanborn's hometown bank since 1899. Because we are your hometown bank, we understand the importance of offering you a wide range of financial services to help you meet your financial goals. We have checking, savings, and certificate of deposit accounts that will help you manage your money. We offer all types of loans for your individual needs. We are always ready to work with you to design a program to meet your financial needs. Sanborn Savings Bank, proud to support the HMS Hawks, member FDIC. Welcome back to the halftime show. Uh, the score is 8-8. Eight eight. Uh, pretty even battle, both offensively and defensively. Um, we're looking for a senior, Aiden Esplin, to come up to do a little interview at halftime. We'll see if he shows up. In the meantime, I want to give a shout-out to uh, the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks and their family of coaches and cheerleaders and administrators. Uh, head coach of Jay Otters, and like I mentioned before, he's uh, one of the most positive coaches I've ever been around. He'd be one that uh, I'd be proud to have my son play ball for him. His assistants tonight are Jaden Klein Hesselink, Kyle Vogt, Mark Peterson and Corey Ebel, his junior high coaches, which I've said before, are just important to the program as the assistants on the varsity level. Nathan Hoagland, Dawson Shipoff, and Russ Spear. The cheer coach, Trisha Vile, I'm sure has put in a lot of work with the girls. Although they include Alexa Reed Clancy, Delaney Murphy, Emma Volink, Madison Torres, Laney Raveling, 
Amy Rons, Jackie Ramirez, Jordan Lux. Jordan Lux, I believe she's the one that sang the national anthem tonight, did a great job. Jessica Diaz and Kinley Dolphin. The Hawks trainer, Bryce Braws. The superintendent is Patrick Carlin. Principal is Blake Went, and activities director and also assistant coach is Mark Peterson. Uh, We'll go to a word from our sponsor. We'll be right back with hopefully an interview from Aiden Esplan, a senior for the Hawks. Bismarck Graphics in Sanborn, your one-stop sign shop for everything from vehicle wraps, lettering, fleet graphics, signs of all kinds, race car wraps, power sport wraps, banners, logo design, business cards, or even color change vehicle wraps. Everything is done in-house with top-of-the-line equipment. Stefan and Ashley C. Bisma employ an experienced and knowledgeable staff who are ready to work for you. To help get you noticed, visit cbisma-graphics.com. Find us on Facebook or call 712-729-7446. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video with one remote. Use voice activation to find everything faster or set a one-pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi-Fi devices with the free View It app. Contact TCA to experience TiVo today. Uh, winning the battle. Trustworthy, honest, and hardworking. The same traits that make a great employee make a great bank. For 125 years, Savings Bank of Primgar, Hartley, and Lake Park has been going the extra mile providing banking to farms and small businesses in Northwest Iowa. Savings Bank of Hartley prides itself on knowing you, your operation, your goals, and your future plans to help you along the way so you could focus on what you do best. Stop in today or visit them online at savingsbankia.com. Three trips into enemy territory. Whether you are combining, hauling grain, or heating your home, fuel powers the fall. When it comes to energy, you need a company who is trustworthy, understands your needs, and who delivers to you. A company who is local, reliable, and affordable. That company is Ag State. Ag State Energy is clean, comfortable, convenient, while staying competitively priced for our customers. Give Laura Sanguin or Seth Duff a call for all your energy needs. I'm also going to give a quick shout out to the Lamar's Game and Catholic Jays and their uh, staff administration and stuff too, as well as the Hawks. They put in a lot of hard work throughout this year and ended tonight with this weather like this. is a little tough on all of them, but so I'm going to give a shout out to head coach Jeremy Schindler. His assistants are Paul Ellenson, Travis Westhoff, and Corey Spangler. Junior high coaches are Eric Ellison and Mike Roberts. The cheer coach is Beth Ebert, and her cheerleading uh, crew include Shayla Dreckman, Mackenzie Morrison, Haley Poland, McKenna Sitzman, Ava Weiland, Carol Waterhoff, Elena Beetlesbacher, Brooklyn Gangler, Bella Jurgensen, Jocelyn Roeder, Ella Scheitler, and Marin Dreckman. The principal at Lamar's Game of Catholic is Brian Paulson, and the athletic Jeff director is Jeff Kramer. Well, Brood, it looks like uh, Aiden must have got caught up in the locker room. You know, it's his last night. Uh, we were looking forward to maybe having him up in the box at halftime, but it didn't work out. Uh, what do you think for adjustments coming in the second half, and how do you think that first half went? Well, you know, I was just thinking out here trying to get this window cleaned again, but... Gellerman, second quarter, they kind of they kind of contained him. Yes, yes, they so, did. So, you know, being the player he is, I can see him break out again, you know. And uh, wind isn't going to be a factor here. They're not throwing the ball. I think there's be on been the one stuff. thrown pass the whole first half, incompletion. Yes. You know, on that incompletion? Yeah, that's it. So I'm, I'm sure that they're just going to keep this thing on the ground, get behind their big kids. But, you know, there's going to be a question because, you know, our, our, our big youngster, number 57, he, uh, he uh, hurt his shoulder. So hopefully he's going to be back in there because he opens a lot of plays for him. 
I think just like last week, especially with weather related, I think it's going to be a big play or a turnover. Picking up that first down on that fake punt, something like that's going to be the turning point in this game in the second half because the conditions are getting worse. The kids you know, are wearing Hubert, down. Yeah. You know, they, they run behind Hubert on that weak side or when they go to the left side. So He never uh, came back in? The no, first but it was, there, were, there wasn't much time left after okay. he got hurt. On that long run that Cardi ran, Yep. you know, he tweaked his shoulder, it looked like, because he got up pretty quickly, walked to the sideline. So we'll see on that. Um, you know, Hartley has just got to do what they did last week against Sibley. And that is, you know, when you lose a bunch of close games, you get a little snake bit. They've got to back up and go right back to what they're doing, what they know how to do. Punch that ball, punch that ball, let Gellerman do his thing. You know, and once you get a victory, it kind of gives you that momentum thinking the next week that you can get another victory. Yeah, and, Ma- and Massbergen can run the ball as well. Right. You know, and you, you let Massbergen run that ball. You, you nickel and dime your way through. Tonight is a, you get past midfield, it should be a, a, a fourth quarter or a uh, fourth down play. I mean, there's no sense in punting the ball once you get past midfield. And uh, unfortunately, HMS doesn't punt it very well. So, you know, it's four down territory once you get past midfield. So we got 547 left. And, uh, Again, uh, tonight's game is brought to you by Fuller Digital Solutions, who have been in business since 2015, providing live streaming services to 30 high schools in three states, including Iowa, South Dakota, and Mississippi. And remember also to the sponsors that we play here between the half and the beginning of the game, and in between in between halves and quarters uh, be sure and patronize these sponsors they're the ones that are making this available and you can sit in the comfort of your home on your lazy boy watching good old high school football um, I think that's uh, quite a service and be sure and thank your sponsors we're gonna head off for another word from those sponsors and we'll be right back yep let me see if we got any scores At Century Mutual, we're always focused on dedicated, personalized service for you. Serving customers in 27 Northwest Iowa counties for over 130 years. As a proud Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, we'll be there when you need us most. Helping protect all that's important to you, including your future. With Grinnell Mutual, you can trust in tomorrow. Contact your local Century Mutual Insurance Association agent today. Located in more than 50 local communities. Trust in Tomorrow is a registered trademark of Grinnell Mutual Reinsurance Company. El Grisma Agency in Sanborn, real estate and insurance. For 40 years, El Grisma Agency has been helping clients sell homes, businesses, farms, and more. Using strategic marketing, your for sale will turn into sale pending soon. El Grisma Agency is proud to be a part of the HMS community and supports the Hawks all season, on and off the field and court. Contact El Grisma Agency when you're ready to sell. Visit us online at elgrismaagency.com. El Grisma Agency in Sanborn, real estate and insurance. For 40 years, El Grisma Agency has been helping clients sell homes, businesses, farms, and more. Using strategic marketing, your for sale will turn into sale pending soon. El Grisma Agency is proud to be a part of the HMS community and supports the Hawks all season, on and off the field and court. Contact El Grisma Agency when you're ready to sell. Visit us online at elgrismaagency.com. Bob, kick off. Rural customers deserve great internet too. You deserve Evertech's No Limits Internet and the quality local services that comes with it. We've dedicated 32 years to bring customers like you reliable and unlimited internet, up to 50 megabits across 22 counties. It's internet you can count on. Call or email our Everly office to get started. You and your family need internet with unlimited use, no contracts, and no overages. You need Evertech. Visit evertech.net to learn more. Evertech, internet where you live. Colorado Stanford score tonight. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We are excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. Like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. 
MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help, and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. We'd like to give a special shout-out to people viewing tonight's live feed from all over the country and the world. Uh, welcome and a shout-out to Nick Dom, who's watching this live feed with Fuller Digital Solutions from Cancun, Mexico, while on his extended honeymoon. Uh, word is, and we believe he'll be back before the holidays. And another shout-out we'd like to give to Tim Carlson. He's at the North Pole, Alaska, where he's trophy hunting, wearing his famous designer-style cut-off shorts in the frigid surroundings of northern Alaska. What do you think about that, TC? What do you think about it, bird? I can see it, and I'm sure he's got a strong and tall in one hand. Yes, yeah. I would think, and if he doesn't, I'd be surprised. I'm and, and if you and I weren't there here, we'd be standing there next to him. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed that he's taking time to watch another full digital solution broadcast. i got to give a shout out to both Nick and Timmy C. Spinny, if uh, he's out of the tractor, which I imagine, I'm sure he's sitting at home watching us tonight and uh, thinking we're going to take over for, you know, uh, a couple of those announcers on Sunday. What are you thinking? Both teams are coming back on the field, getting ready for the second half. We've got about two and a half minutes left. Noah, if you want to go with two more commercials, we'll come back and let's get the second half rolling. For over 80 years, Farm Bureau Financial Services has served the unique needs of the ag industry. As members of your community, we get to know you and your operation, providing coverage for your farm, ranch, machinery, livestock, and so much more. Find out why we're the number one ag insurer. It's your future. Let's protect it. In Primgar, your Farm Bureau agent is Danielle Rayner. Number one ag insurer across our eight-state territory. 2018 SNL PNC Group Directorate and Premium. District, they lead out to a really a 13 to nothing. Probably the biggest thing that we do a little bit different than a lot of schools is the live work side of the world. So when we teach our students, we actually, if you look around the shop and see what they're working on, in most cases it's a customer car, and so they get real world application. Our engineering design program is basically drawing components, manufacturing of the components, and then we get into the inspection of the components. So they got to create it, make it, and inspect it just as they would in industry. West Lion is scoreless. Here, here we go, guys. Uh, we're back here. Yeah, just uh, heard the West Lion Central Line score 0-0. Zero, zero. And uh, listening out for the Cherokee score, but haven't heard yet. It's, it's really, the rain's really starting to pick up here. We're going to do the best we can to keep this window clean for you folks. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more than a mist now. I just took a little break outside to clean this window. And, yeah, it's, uh, the, the conditions are deteriorating here a little bit we got 56 seconds left and before we get out there and start playing again but we got an 8-8 to eight ball game and both teams look fired up both are excited of course Galen came right off of that big score with just a 25 30 seconds left before they got to the end of the half a lot of times that'll take your knees out we'll see how HMS reacts Troy I think another thing uh, that we got to look at is pretty much been McCarty and Gellerman show all night somebody else has got to step up and make exactly. some plays it does. And I think both coaches recognize that. Hopefully they'll come up with some, some you different know, calls. Both of them have nice defenses. They've got good, yeah. stingy defenses. It's definitely been a defensive battle for, for yeah. all the right reasons. But uh, and I, yeah, I think somebody else got to step up and make a play. i seen Ethan Hubert down there warming up nicely and good. running around. So, good. you know, he, he's ready to go. Uh, tweak that shoulder and... And, uh, you know, he's a senior. I think you have to They're going to drag him off the field. I think you'd have to put him in, under lock and key to keep him off the field yeah. for a Here senior, we go. last so, senior game. Galen's going to kick off, so this gives HMS a chance to come right out of the chute, go down, threaten them a little bit, and see if we can get a score out of them. Brood, it's raining sideways. It is. And I'm telling down you, sheets. That went, the flag is straight out, straight out of the west. So it's it's uh, conditions are really crappy here, but that just goes for both of these teams how they play, and that's on the ground ball. 
You know, it's it's nothing fancy. Power football. Here we go, Galen Catholic. Dylan Pacus is he's setting the ball there. He's going to get his call, but man, you can see the rain now. Of course, we've got Gellerman back there, and you don't need to seem to be very far because it looks like we got about a 20 mile an hour wind, and we can see this misty rain yeah, the pushing kick, right straight across the field. Kick returners are lined up about the 25, yes. probably move up to about the 30 yard line on the kickoff. Right. Uh, just getting drenched on right now, but obviously we would prefer to have the windows in front of us. Pecos uh, waits for the uh, signal uh, from his referee. Uh, Here he goes. We start the second off. half. Pretty nice kick. End over end boot. And here we go. He bobbles the ball just a little bit. Number 25, he runs right. And it's covered pretty good by Galen. Down to about the 25-yard on screen. First and 10 for HMS. Here they come charging out on the field. Looks like Galen came off a little more fire than they did at the beginning of the game. Yeah, they did. That was Junior Raison, the return. Did a nice job there. Even though you're in the playoffs, you don't want to lose that momentum heading into the playoff game next Friday night. Exactly. You want to keep the ball rolling. So, HMS has to go back what got him here, and that's getting off the ball. You got those big, strong linemen up front. Again, we're in that uh, shotgun. We're in that power uh, power left set. Back to Gellerman. And there it is. Seven and a half yards on it. And I think that's just the name of their game. It's getting really tough, so I, it, it looks like about second and two. And Gellerman, again, just followed his blockers really nicely. We had power left, and he went weak side. As strange as it seems, that the field still looks like it has pretty good footing. Oh, yeah. Second and two from the 34. Here we go again, power left. We've got three tight ends to the left side. Slot left. Gellerman, Max Bergen in the backfield. Shotgun. There goes Gellerman. You know, just nice and patient. Looks like he picked up the first down. It's a pickup of four. And Hartley Melvin, Sanborn. You know, and this is what they do. Roll up their sleeves. No fair dodging. Play tough football. You got the big boys up front. 8-8 eight eight with 11 minutes left yep. in the third quarter. Reads his lineman because they can, they're beating him in the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they're controlling it when they want to. You, you, don't, you don't have to do anything fancy here because for the most part, we're beating him in the line of scrimmage up front. Here they come up to the ball again, and they're in that shotgun. Gellerman's on the right side. Mass Bergen is the quarterback. We've got the power left. And here we go, and he's going to follow that big 68. And uh, there was a... That inside linebacker. Again, that Harpenau kid, he comes up, he's a stinger. Nice little play in there. We got about a half yard on that. And now it is really raining out there. We got a timeout here by the referees. I'm sure they want to try their best to keep this ball dry. I think if it was snowing and I brewed, we wouldn't be able to see the players. Yeah, we wouldn't. I mean, you can you can see the mist and the lights. It's incredible. Here we go back to Gellerman again, and he's got some room. He's got some space. Yeah, he gets about six yards on that. It's going to make it fourth and two. You know, you can really appreciate this if you just look at that mist coming down through those lights. Yeah, it's a, it's coming down hard. If uh, third and two, HMS needs to sustain this. Get down and score in this lousy weather. Nine and I'm telling you what, they'll take some wind out of Galen's sails. Yeah, you want to score early in the second half. You want to score early. And we got that power right again. We got Gellerman and Massbergen in the backfield. We got that shotgun. Goes to Gellerman. He finds his way. He easily makes the first down. Picks up about six. Just marching downfield. So patient. So patient. Yeah, and you've got those big kids up there, and they're they're doing a really great job for him. Moving that ball straight ahead. You know, you got Huberg. And you got Shire Holtz. And you got Smith. With these well, conditions, if HMS goes down and score, that's going to put a lot of pressure on the Jays. They do. They're, and they're, they're doing a nice job out there. Van Beek, those guys are opening holes. Again, here we're in the shotgun. Ball comes back. There it is. Gellerman again. He picks up about three. Nice job. Just keep moving the ball downfield. 
and will be second down, down, down and seven. Galen is staying in that 42, and they move the backers up on the outside, so it's, it, it somewhat looks like a six, but it's a four front. And two linebackers over the ends, but they're starting to pull them inside when they're starting to run those B gaps. They're just outsized in there. And, you know, they just can't afford the stakes on HMS's part. Second seven. Here we go. It's Gellerman and Massbergen. The snap to Massbergen. He gives to Gellerman around the left side. Side steps Pearson in the backfield. He runs Gellerman's down the sideline. Looks like he's got some room to run. Picked up the first down. Picked up about 14 yards on that play. First down, HMS. He ran to, into two of his linemen. They're out front pole, and that helped him gain those last that was seven yards. Developing play yes, it was. in the backfield, and it's, it's getting really difficult to see through these windows with all the rain. And, uh, I was a little bit fooled on who had the ball. We're down to we're down to eight minutes, first and ten on the 32-yard line. Here we go. Barely see that scoreboard. Here we go. Come up to the center. Austin Smith over center here. Ball back. Here we go. And. Straight back to Nassburgen, and doesn't look like he gets much on that play. Looked kind of like a delayed draw, a quarterback draw, but no receivers went out. Design play, got him half a yard. Second down and nine and a half is what we're looking at. Second down on nine to go, 740 to play in the third quarter. Galen's up in that four front again. Backers, they're active. They fly into those gaps. The Hawks got, are taking their time in between plays, running a little more clock. Yeah, we got 13 and seconds on the play clock. Massbergen at quarterback. Oh, Gellerman next to him are in a power left situation. Gets that ball. Here comes Gellerman following his black box nicely. Picks up about four yards on that. That'll bring up third down and about six, maybe five. Oh, well, he got a little more than I thought. It's going to be third and three, a long three. Nice I don't think job. there's been a fumble tonight, has there, Bruce? That's no. amazing. No, it, it really is. I mean, it's just everything is so rain coming down hard here. HMS has done a nice job running the ball tonight. They can sustain this, no penalties. Get this ball down there. Again, we have Weirsma up in the power position. Massburg in a quarterback. Gets that ball, and that goes to the weak side. And, boy, I'm going to tell you, Galen just smothered that thing. Fourth down, and maybe they gained a half yard. I'm sure they're going for it. Fourth and four. Here we go. So, yep, no gain on that play. Gellerman went weak side. Four left. And uh, Galen was ready for it. So we got fourth down and three and a half. And uh, looks like a pretty good rain coming down right now. Massbergen coming in with the play. Our tie at eight. I think there'll be a lot of going for it and fourth down for the rest of the game. Yeah, tonight. there's no sense putting the ball if you're past half field. Midfield, you just want to punt it. Here we go. Power right set up. And there's Gellerman looking for the ball. Coming right back to him. Gellerman slices through. I don't believe he made it. Galen oh, I think the J stood him up. Galen's ball. First and ten going the other way. Gallon effort. I mean, he tried hard. And uh, again, Galen's defense showed up. Nice job, Galen. Well, here we go. First and ten. Eight to eight. Uh, looks like there's 552 left in the game. Through a blurry window, first and ten from the 25-yard uh, line. We'll see if uh, HMS can shake a ball loose here or shut them down. We got McCarty in the backfield. That double slot, double split. Looks like he got Bogan in the backfield. Comes back, gives that to Bogan. He picks up one or two. Falls forward, gets about three yards. Nice job in there. Big number 57. Look on the other side of the field, though, Brood. The Jays got a good following over there considering these conditions. Oh, yeah. And they're right in, right in the teeth of this. It is It is uh, simply miserable. You can just, the rain is just coming down and hard. Simply irresistible. It is a nice night. It's a misty kind of rain, but I mean, it is solid. 
Second down about and uh, 20 mile an hour winds from the west, from the northwest. Line, Again, Ryder double splits, double slots. McCarty's in, a, he's up under center. We got under Bogan in the backfield. McCarty. We're in a 42. Hands that off. He gets stuck right at the line of scrimmage. Nice play in there. Number 44, Wiersma. You know, he's a toughie. Number 48 as well. Third and six under five minutes. Evan L. Eilers. And, you know, Evan's been in on some of these tackles inside, too. You know, it's, it's so hard to determine numbers out there, but he's played himself a nice ball game, Evan Eilers. Yeah, he, he's, uh, he's probably made some tackles in there. I'm giving others with fours on him. No. Uh, credit for, but again, double splits, he's under center, double slots, and that looks like Pearson in the back, and there goes McCarty, he's got some room out there, but Kellerman's after him, picked it up, oh, right at the flag, right at the flag, awfully close, Kellerman turned on his burners too, and uh, we'll see if he made it, it's going to be close. Once they've got that football spotted. It is a five-yard gain, and here we go, oh boy, those yeah, they are going to move the chains. Yep, first they gave down, him the first Jay's down on it. He, he down hit four, right at the, the, right the stick. So we're still 8-8. Eight, eight. And, and uh, we've got uh, 425 on their 35. Like. Five. First and 10 at the 35. Rain coming down, wind giving us a little break here. Here they are in that 42 with a cover three. Gellerman's looking at that quarterback. And we've got a timeout. We've got a timeout. We're going to take a break here and come back, Noah. Timeout for the Jays here in the second half of the contest. Jeremy Schiff. Sanborn Savings Bank, Sanborn's hometown bank since 1899. Because we are your hometown bank, we understand the importance of offering you a wide range of financial services to help you meet your financial goals. We have checking, savings, and certificate of deposit accounts that will help you manage your money. We offer all types of loans for your individual needs. We are always ready to work with you to design a program to meet your financial needs. Sanborn Savings Bank, proud to support the HMS Hawks, member FDIC. Hey, we'll take a time out. We'll be back. Bisma Graphics in Sanborn, your one-stop sign shop for everything from vehicle wraps, lettering, fleet graphics, signs of all kinds, race car wraps, power sport wraps, banners, logo design, business cards, or even color change vehicle wraps. Everything is done in-house with top-of-the-line equipment. Stefan and Ashley C. Bisma employ an experienced and knowledgeable staff who are ready to work for you. To help get you noticed, visit cbisma-graphics.com. Find us on Facebook or call 7 712-729-7446. Okay, we're back on this rainy night, but Galen was the one that called the timeout there. Yeah, there's some confusion there with those timeouts. They finally got to figure it out. Was. First and 10, we're in that 42 coming up. That's Pearson out there. And he stumbles ahead and gets himself 12 yards for a first down. And they're up to the 48-yard line. And uh, Galen looks quick all of a sudden. HMS has to step up. Jays have definitely come out with more fire, both on the offense and defensive side. I think Coach probably had a good talk with them at halftime. Sure looks like it. Rain pouring down on the boys. And the cheerleaders and the fans. But they're all sticking it out. Here we go. They come up to the ball. Oh, now they're in a very tight set. And so it looks like run all the way. HMS is stacking it up inside. And uh, just about dropped the ball, but they, they got about a two-yard loss on that. Cardi stumbled just like he stepped on somebody's foot. They were pulling a guard. They could have tangled their feet up. So it's going to be second down and 12. It is inevitable that and, uh, that is going to happen. When they pack it in there tight, uh, HMS adjusted that is uh, very good because they look like they had about seven or eight guys within the yard, the yard of line of scrimmage. You think that's one of the adjustments they made at halftime? Well, here's the other in that tight formation now. Those receivers are in. Now look at HMS packing that in there. Yep. There, go, there comes the running back. Nice job. Bound back to the initial line of scrimmage. Fourth down. I think that was Weir's moving on that tackle. Oh, third down to nine. I think this is four down territory. That, that was a great job by that linebacker. I think it was number 24. Probably the rest of the quarter. I think that was Blake Mendering who made that tackle. He's tough. He's tough. I got a better view now. 
Here Turn again, they're in that tight formation. Two, two slots close to the right behind there. Got Pearson in the backfield under center. center. Gives that to Pearson. He comes off tackle here. Looks, find himself in yards. He stays on and he's going to get the first down. He's got a first down. He's got a first to the HMS 40-yard line. Really nice run by Pearson. A little bit of over-pursuing by HMS. And here we go with three minutes, two minutes and 59 seconds. And Ball's on the 40-yard line. On the 40 yard line, and, and the Jays are threatening here. And uh, Pearson, he, he's uh, he's getting her together. Got a jet in his butt, he's running hard. There was some over pursuing on that last play by HMS. Here we go. HMS is stepping up in the A gaps. We got those slots doubled in there. They come to Pearson again. He stumbles and he falls down for no gain or maybe a half yard. Nowhere to go for Cale Pearson. We got second down and nine and a half or second down and ten. It'll now be second down and ten. And uh, HMS is doing the right things. Yeah, they are. They're, they're getting a lot of, you know, I mean, when you're going to pack in there like that, you just want to shut it down, get your kids up in the gaps, your backers, and then you let your free safeties and corners come up if, if they're sliding your lanes. Here we are again. It's just, it's just, oh, it's snap, fumble the snap again. And it's, these conditions are just awful. I mean, it's just pouring rain and wind, and trying to hang on to that ball is understandable. And, uh, yeah, really, the only fumbles we've seen tonight are at the snaps. Right. So now you're at third and ten, and uh, they're at the 42-yard line. And right now, the uh, the weather is HMS's friend because two plays were just dumping the ball down on the ground because it's soaking wet. Here they're in that tight set again. He did it again. He comes out, he drops it again. HMS closes in on it, and uh, we're looking at fourth down now. This has the makings of an 8 8 final. And uh, it's. It's really even tough just to see across the field here for in this Dale stuff. Like if you, down a mile, you know, you shine that up into the light, that is just, deep. that is just pouring rain. I don't know. Do you punt here or do you go for it? Um, that's, that's assuming you hard to say. If you do, you may and just want to do a shotgun with your the old, uh, uh, tied at eight. Who was our old no, Leo Hupke play? Leo, Leo Hupke play. You know, about 12 yards back, just let the quarterback punt it out. Yeah, they're lining up in the shotgun. Looks like he's going to go for it, but he's... And a timeout charge to Jay Eilers, the head coach. And here we go. We're going to get a timeout here by Galen. We'll be no, back. you want to get us a commercial. Fourth down and 14. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video with one remote. Use voice activation to find everything faster or set a one-pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi-Fi devices with the free View It app. Contact TCA to experience TiVo today. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video with one remote. Use voice activation to find everything faster or set a one pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi-Fi devices with the free View It app. Contact TCA to experience TiVo today. And here we're back again. Galen's uh, now they're again they're spreading those receivers out there, and uh, the rain is cut in half here. One time out here, Fred has you got McCarty back there. You got Pearson in the backfield. They fake that, and he stumbles, and that's going to be HMS's ball. Wiersma makes a nice tackle in there, doesn't give up on it, pursues him down. Sophomore McCarty stumbles a little bit, and uh, we're going to turn that ball back over. We're going to change possession. No turnover. Change possession here and HMS gets the ball back and looks like the food is getting to be a little bit worse out there right. in addition to the fumbled snaps. You know what, Troy, the, the rain's cut in half. Yeah. Like one time out and, you know, it's, it's kind of the way this weather system's been the last 24 hours. Heavy rain and here we go, HMS is in that power left position. 
40 Can't seconds further. left. Here we go. Gellerman gets that ball. And, 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 gets that ball. and uh, get about two yards is all. He's really protecting that ball. It's a good idea, making sure he doesn't fumble it. Second and eight with 30 seconds left. You know, and this is an old football coach here. This is where you start tackling the football second tackler. Punch it out. Tell your defense. And uh, 19 seconds, and we're going to be into the fourth quarter. And we still got an 8-8 eight eight ball game. No one scored this half, but they've been threatened. There will be any scoring in this third quarter. HMS going to walk over to the sideline, and we will head to the fourth quarter from a wet and cold Peterson. And here we go. We're winding it down. And uh, we'll be right back with the fourth quarter. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video with one remote. Use voice activation to find everything faster or set a one-pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi-Fi devices with the free View It app. Contact TCA to experience TiVo today. I mean, unless... Savings Bank of Primgar, Hartley, and Lake Park has been serving Northwest Iowa for over 125 years, providing personal, hardworking, and friendly service to its customers and community. Savings Bank of Hartley offers personal, ag and business banking, online and mobile banking solutions, along with many lending options. Savings Bank loan officers will sit down and do the hard work to ensure you get exactly what you need. Stop by and see what they can do for you or visit them online at www.savingsbankia.com. Welcome back to tonight's game, being brought to you by Fuller Digital Solutions, who have been in business since 2015, providing live streaming services to 30 high schools in three states. That's time to start. Here you go, Brood. HMS is heading north, and here's Gellerman, and uh, he slides through for about three and a half yards. It's going to be third down and five, and uh, HMS isn't isn't changing a thing, and I wouldn't either. So we got third down and five, and we're right on the 50-yard line. It is raining hard, and uh, it had been pouring, but it's letting up the rain just a little bit, but that doesn't change the wind. And uh, I'm sure we're in two down territory here. And here we go again. Galen's in that 44 stack now. They're shooting the gap. They're in the shotgun. Ball comes back to Gellerman. He's following his blockers. He's going to be pretty close. About a half yard short, it looks like. Fourth and one. First down. Fourth and one, Troy. Gellerman's a workhorse tonight, just like we've seen the last two games. Galen is uh, playing tough football. So we'll see if they run a play or if they try to jump them off sides. And they both ended on turnover on down. Downs. Jack Massbergen is now in the midst brings in the play from Coach. Of the second half. Got that See power third. right set up. Down and one. Here we go in that shotgun. Galen's up there the pumping the gaps, and he gets, gets a first leverage. down. Good job, Gellerman. Oh, he he made spot. No, it looks like he's going to be short from the mark. No, he made it. His initial, his initial surge got him past her okay. bike. I looked at the fish come from the sideline, but yeah, the ball spot. Should be a first down. Yeah. HMS changing balls, which they should be doing every play if they could. Oh, boy. That spot is oh so close. I think they're going to need a measure. It yep, looked like uh, the initial the spot left. was moved back a little. And that He's going to be short. Oh. No, he'll make it. That doesn't look good for HMS. Where the heck's the ball at? He, uh, in my opinion, he made it past the line. I'm, I'm sitting right on the line. And uh, he made it past the line. The spot is maybe the tip of the football is on the line to gain. So we're going to have a measurement and see here. Big measurement. 10 minutes and 40 seconds, 8-8 eight eight ball game. This is big. Down marker. This is going to be a big ball. Obviously, those refs have a better eye on it than we do from up here, but from my vantage point, it looked like he'd made it. It's going to be close. This is going to be real close. No, he ain't going to make it. Extend them and hardly He's them short by three inches. Short. Mm. They are short of the line to gain. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. 
Ball, ball going back, back to the Jays. We have the Hartley Melvin. First we have the camera. You can watch it over. And uh, my eyes ain't as good as they used to be, but it sure looked like he got past that line. It looked like he crossed the line. 10.40 le left in the game, Brood. Yep. 10 minutes 40. First and 10, Galen. Heading south here. High ball game at 8 apiece from the 45-yard line. Here come the Jays. Jays got all the way down at from their own 20 Galen now is in that tight set as well we'll double slot success first and 10 Cardi's in there in the low pitch he gets the hand off he gets it Pearson rolls and sends his way for 12 yards nice job by Galen it's a pickup of 14 yards low snap on that and McCarty did a nice job of getting that ball out of there First and ten. That's a big carry. That was a big play by Galen right there. In regulation, first down and ten. Here for the Jays. Tied at eight between Galen Catholic and Hartley Mellon. Here we go right on the 40-yard line. Ten minutes, 20 seconds left. Eight to eight ball game. Again, we're in this double slot tight set. We got McCarty in a shotgun. We got an eye back back there in Pearson. Gives him the ball. He makes a nice cut. Gets about six. Kellerman comes in to finish him off, but not until he gets about six yards on that play. Galen looks fired up. Running hard. McCarty looks like he's having trouble with his footing, but Pearson looks like he's plowing right through there, so I don't know if there's, they got different cleats on or what the deal is. You know, they've struck. been giving Pearson some breaks with Jake Bogan in there, too. On the other hand, Gellerman, he's just kind of the workhorse the entire time. And here's Pearson. He's gotten stronger as the game's gone on. Galen Catholic in there, and they got double slots. They're in the shotgun. Comes back. Here comes Pearson with the ball. He's got some room. Big hole. He gets hit. It looks Inside. like he's going to be pretty close to the first down. Maybe a smidge short. Looks like it'll be third down and about a half a yard. Oh, he is going to be short. Is he going to be short? Now they're going to say he moved, he got it. The near lines judge says move the chains. Well, let's see. And they're going to move oh. the chains. It's a pickup of three Jace picked up another first down with nine yep. tennis left in the game. There we go. My angles aren't good. So one more of those three yard runs will allow him first down. First and ten, ten minutes. Nine minutes. And, well, I can't quite see the clock. It's too wet over here. Again, we're in that tight set. Cardi gets the ball, gives that to Pearson. Pearson gets hit, spins forward, gets about three and a half yards. It's a hard earned pickup of eight minutes, 50 seconds. So I got to give the ball carriers a lot of credit being able to hold on the ball tonight. Yeah. Punching it, stripping it, and they're holding on to it with a slippery ball. It's second down and eight. Eight minutes, 38 seconds. And Galen is across midfield. They're at about the 30 yard line. And uh, somebody needs to score here. Well, here we go back to that double split, double slot, wish, or, uh, uh, shotgun, a eye back, get that to Pearson, and uh, he punches his way up there for about four yards. So it looks like it's going to be about third, third down and three, maybe a long two. Third and four, eight minutes left. Hawks got to do a better job of gang tackling with the hopes mm -hmm. of stripping yeah. the ball and punching it out. Yeah, Ta the second tackler should be tackling the football. You got to hit this youngster low. He's a hard runner. Does a nice job out there. Here we go, and HMS is in that 40. That stack pulling those backers up on the outside. Galen spread them out again. We got Pearson in the back. Give him McCarty slips a little bit, and uh, oh, and he gets flung to the ground. Let's see if he's going to get up. Man, he got he got flung down hard. Looks like he lost a couple on that, which makes it fourth down and about five. Now it'll be Maybe fourth, fourth and six. Fourth down. Seven. So here we go. Fourth and seven, seven minutes left in the ball game. This is going to be a tricky call. 
for Coach Schindler. And you know, on that play, what do they have? Cole Zicardi, he just slipped again trying, trying to get outside. His footing hasn't it, been it, the it best. Let the pursuit catch up with him. Here we go. Spread it out again. And uh, we're in that shotgun. We got Pearson in the backfield. And he kind of muffs the ball a little bit. And uh, holy cow, HMS comes through. HMS going to get the ball and, uh, back. Of course, Gellerman, he comes flying up there. Ben, but don't break. I'll tell you, they attack the play. Great job in there by HMS. First and 10 to 31 with and, uh, half minutes. You know, it's, uh, coaches know their kids. They were in that tight formation. They were running the ball. You spread that thing out, and uh, they, they seem to pursue better from HMS's point of view. I don't think there's a chance there's going to be a pass. I don't think so. 6.53, tie ball game, 8-8. Eight eight. And uh, here we go. We're in that power right situation. We've got Wiersma up front. We've got Matt Bergen at quarterback. And here goes Gellerman. And we got some guards pulling. But, boy, you're getting some pursuit out of those uh, Galen kids. They're fired up. They want the ball back. Uh, I think they got the mindset of gang tackling and punching the ball. They're getting yes. to the ball. And you know, this is... Uh, this is one of those times where second down on 11, get a timeout, and, and, and guys, let's let's do what got us here. Both teams with two timeouts left for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can run the ball behind these big boys. It seems like when you run straight at them, you seem to have a little more success, but here they are in that shotgun again. Ball to Bass Bergen. Nope. Oh, he catches oh, the ball. Great recovery. I think he's the ball's still on the ground. Galen Catlin thinks they got the football. They did. Yeah, oh, I thought Gellerman recovered that. Almost. That was a high snap, and Gellerman just about made a fantastic catch. And the ball ended up on the ground. Galen Catholic's got it. First and 10. First and 10 on the 29. Mm -hmm. 39. No, 29. You're right, Troy. 34. Defense forces their first turnover of the night. We've got six minutes and eight seconds. We're at the 33 34 yard line. First and 10. Eight to eight ball game. Galen's got the ball back. And they're in that spread. Here they go, and you got Pearson there in the backfield. McCarty takes the ball straight ahead, and he makes that fake, and the way he goes, finds a slice, gets about seven yards. First, first yard gain is seven yards. We got second three. That was a nice run. Maybe second and four. Picked up six. And the Jays are taking a little time off the clock, 5.40. And uh, here we go in that spread again. That really helps them with their option. And that's what he wants, slot right, slot left, double splits. Ball coming back. Here we go. Pearson runs up the middle. He's found himself some room. Looks like he has a first down. It's going to be first and 10. And it looks like they're down to about the 22, 23 yard line. So Galen's threatening here. Moving the chains. HMS staying on that 44. Moving their backers up on the outside. Gellerman keying in on McCarty. Here we go. Looks like we're going to go spread again. Finale, Two receivers each side. Jalen sitting in that power move. Here we go. He gives to Bogan. Dances his way Bogan gets a couple yards, him maybe. Up. Showed him up. Yeah. It's getting so difficult to see through this window. All the rain on it. I believe that was Bogan in the running back. Second nine at the 21. They're trying to become the first team this second half. Split right, split left, double slots. I can't see the numbers, but I think that's Bogan in the backfield. McCarty's a quarterback. He gives the ball again, and there he goes. McCarty, he's all alone. He's going to score. Touchdown. Galen Catholic. Catholic. Makes Touchdown. a really nice read there. Cole with a and uh, yard. Uh, barely got touched. A 23 yard Take touchdown with 424. The They're ahead. 15. Left of the ball game, and the 14 to 8. I'm sure they'll go for two here. In regulation. 424. Two point what a yard, a 21 yard run by Cole. You know, when they were held before, it was like they weren't going to be denied. 
Galen just, you know, they bowled their neck and they came back. And here we go. Well, we got Pearson in the backfield. We got that spread. We'll see if they run option again in the 42 on defense. Straight ahead. They picked up the two. I couldn't see who scored there, Troy. Who was it? McCarty or Pearson? McCarty. Okay, McCarty scores it. Does that fake? Puts him up eight. No, we're going to do a commercial and come back. Stick around to find out. You're on KLEM. At Century Mutual, we're always focused on dedicated, personalized service for you. Serving customers in 27 Northwest Iowa counties for over 130 years. As a proud Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, we'll be there when you need us most. Helping protect all that's important to you, including your future. With Grinnell Mutual, you can trust in tomorrow. Contact your local Century Mutual Insurance Association agent today. Located in more than 50 local communities. Trust in Tomorrow is a registered trademark of Grinnell Mutual Reinsurance Company. El Grisma Agency in Sanborn, real estate and insurance. For 40 years, El Grisma Agency has been helping clients sell homes, businesses, farms, and more. Using strategic marketing, your for sale will turn into sale pending soon. El Grisma Agency is proud to be a part of the HMS community and supports the Hawks all season, on and off the field and court. Contact El Grisma Agency when you're ready to sell. Visit us online at elgrismaagency.com. Okay, we're back, folks. And Pecos is ready to kick off, but the wind blew the ball off the tee. And uh, wind is up. The rain is down a little bit, but uh, Galen came back, roared down there. They got stopped on a fourth down play in the series before. And uh, then we got a fumble, bad snap to Gellerman. And uh, Galen got the ball back, and it only took about four or five plays. And they scored and got the extra point. McCarty he scored them both, so we're at 16 to 8. Sophomore McCarty made the scores on those, and so it's 8 to 16. And uh, we're waiting for the kickoff here. It's now a question. I wouldn't be surprised with an onside kick yep. here. Two timeouts each, and uh, here we go. Pecos is kicking off. And here we go, Junior arrays the back, he catches the ball, here he goes up the middle, looks for some yards, moves the outside going, nice good job, brings back. that out to the 41 yard line, nice good job by Junior Areza, really nice run, first and 10 from the 41. Nice job. So we'll see if HMS can answer here. Wind is whipping that flag on the north end, but the rain has been cut down about in half. You know, we talked about it earlier that we were just surprised there weren't as many fumbles, and then all of a sudden it really was just a bad snap. Uh, a little high snap, and I mean, you know, everything's soaking wet. And not, not putting any kind of pressure on any of these youngsters out here, because they're all trying to do their best. And here we go. And there's another snap. Down again and Massburger is on top of it. Second down and about 12. Galen did that on one of their series and now it's we're getting hard for that off. center to snap the ball. The last two have been straight up in the air. Yeah, it's you kind of forget about him and his responsibility. That's tough. It is. Right in between them, I guess. That's how they did their direct snaps. Is kind of snap it right between them. And uh, Hartley Melvin Sanborn. So here we go. Second and 12. That very well. So it's a loss of about three. Ball on the ground. Austin Smith, is, you know, it's just it's just a slippery ball out there for him. And here we go, straight back to Gellerman. That was right on the money. Of course, they're keying on him. Got two yards on that. It'll be third down and ten. And now Galen is just pinning their ears back, coming. We're approaching the three minute mark. Yeah. Hawks have two timeouts you know, left. If there's a chance to throw the ball, break something open, well, this might be the play to do it. Do a roll out. You know, and oh, they're definitely in four down. Out there. Four down mindset. I think that's what we're thinking. They're packed in there in the power right. Ball back to Massbergen. Here it goes to Gellerman. Oh, and he's hit. Gellerman gets about four or five on the play, but it's fourth down and about six or seven. 
four down and seven. And uh, Galen, they're, 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 they're coming hard. And uh, 256, this is big right here, Troy. We'll see if Jay has a trick this, play in this his This could bag. be the game right here. They're going to have to do something out of the ordinary, try to get outside. Galen's talking to each other. Hey, let's you know, let's give up six, but don't give up seven. Power right. Gellerman's back there. We're going to get a timeout here by HMS. No, get us a commercial. We'll be right back. So a timeout called by the El Grisma Agency in Sanborn, real estate and insurance. For 40 years, El Grisma Agency has been helping clients sell homes, businesses, farms, and more. Using strategic marketing, your for sale will turn into sale pending soon. El Grisma Agency is proud to be a part of the HMS community and supports the Hawks all season on and off the field and court. Contact El Grisma Agency when you're ready to sell. Visit us online at elgrismaagency.com. Cherokee's bought two punts. What does Evertech mean to you? It means internet made real easy. No contracts, no hidden fees, and you know, best of all, it means no limits. Well, they are a lot more than just great internet. They have served rural Northwest Iowa internet customers for more than 30 years. It means solid internet at a great price. And it's dependable too. With 24 seven tech support, we know we're always covered. Rural customers deserve great internet too. Get Evertech's no limits internet in 20 counties in Northwest Iowa. Seven, Massburg. And here we go, they're Back throwing the ball. ball. Knocked down by number 10. That was a great play by Cole McCarty, the quarterback. Knocked that ball down. It was a really nice pass. He had Evan Eilers open. I'll tell you what. Great defensive play. Uh, six inches, six inches higher, and that's over him. But it was a great play by that sophomore quarterback and sophomore linebacker out there. If Evan would have caught that, he probably would have been gone. Yep. First and ten for Galen. And you know, it it is hard. You, you folks can probably tell. We we've kind of gotten attached to these gutty little HMS kids. Yes, little. We have. Oh, he's a gutty team. They're big kids. So really, um, you know, and they just play hard. They're going to two, two minutes and 51 seconds. They're, they're not laying down. There we go. McCarty's got the ball. Gives that to Pearson. Pearson straight ahead hard. And I'm telling you, he, get, he got just stuck in there by Gellerman. He spun around and still managed to get himself three or four yards on it. If they ever needed, the Hawks need to gang tackle. They need to go yeah, in. And this is where a second guy tackle that can. football. Shake it loose. Punch it out of there. And I'm sure they're going to take their time, all the, all the looking at that 24 seconds on the clock up there to uh, for the play clock. They're going to let this thing run down to about 10 before they go up to the ball. Uh, HMS is sitting in that 42 again, and backers up on the outside. Now here comes that spread offense. McCarty back there in the shotgun. Pearson's in the backfield. Here we go, straight ahead. And uh, he's looking for yards, and he's still he's still squirting through there. Ended up gating about three. It's going to be third down and about two or three. Minute 56, third down and three, I'd say. Third and three, Brood. Big. Hold him here, call a timeout. You got to. And then you just throw the ball. That's a really, really smart. See if we can stop him here. They're going to wait to see if the Hawk defense can come up with a fourth down stop. Call a timeout right now. They'll hype it with 10. Game clock's down to 129. 129. Here they are in spread. First down, and uh, this game's over. Here we go. We get it to Pearson straight ahead. Be close. Call a timeout. He's close. Up the and a flag oh, we got, we a, got flag a flag late. The flag came out late. It's a three-yard gain for Pearson. Another, another one. Now. Looks like a popcorn popper out there. Uh, yeah, what's going on? We had, I think, two flags come out. I think it's almost. Well, he's pointing at HMS. In a first down and sports were like. A penalty, but this is going to be really interesting to see if this is just going to end the ball game or not. It's a pickup of... I guess it's a pick of a four where they had the ball spotted at the 32. Let's see what this penalty is going to be. It's a personal foul on the Hawks. 
It's a 15-yard penalty that will easily give the Jays. We got an unsportsmanlike penalty. penalty. That's unfortunate. Of the outcome of the play, the uh, you know, kids are frustrated. We played a good ball game, and he's uh, got one timeout left, but that's not yep. good enough. And uh, those things will happen. Gives it just a little bit of a black eye, but uh, kids have played hard. They're frustrated, but you got to keep your composure, guys. So anyway, here we go. Galen's in tight. I'm sure they're just going to kneel down on this ball. And uh, Galen's going to win this ball game. 16 to 18. It was a hard fought ball game. And uh, there were some. There were some. Tough plays out here, no excuses. Galen was a little better team tonight. HMS has nothing to be ashamed of. As the play clock is less than the game clock, he can snap it at any point now and finish off the ball game. We got 32 seconds left. This is going to be the last snap of the game. He feels like it. He will take one snap. And, and here we go. McCarty's in there. HMS is just relaxing out there. And that's going to be the ball game, folks. It's going to be 16 8. Galen, a playoff team. And uh, they earned this win tonight. HMS is a, you know, just a tough, tough group of boys. Fun to watch them. Fun to watch him play hard. We'll step aside for our final commercial break. Come back with our final thoughts on. What does Evertech mean to you? It means internet made real easy. No contracts, no hidden fees, and you know, best of all, it means no limits. Well, they are a lot more than just great internet. They have served rural Northwest Iowa internet customers for more than 30 years. It means solid internet at a great price, and it's dependable too. With 24-7 tech support, we know we're always covered. Rural customers deserve great internet too. Get Evertech's No Limits Internet in 20 counties in Northwest Iowa. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. And like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. Okay, folks, we're back here. We're going to kind of go over the game just a little bit. Troy, what were your thoughts on it? Well, tonight's conditions made it almost unplayable at times. Couldn't use the passing game. I think there was two passes thrown tonight. It just came down to, I think, uh, Lamar's uh, Galen Jays. I think they just had a little more fire in that second half and uh, took advantage of a couple errors, moved the ball down, punched her in. Uh, that second half, uh, Gellerman just couldn't get the holes that he had in that first half. I thought both defenses played well, you know, a 16-8 final. You know, you look out there, like you said, you can see that middle of that field is muddy, where they spent uh, the time here from about the 25-yard line to about the 45. It did out there, and I'll tell you, Pearson, uh, you know, he was the difference. I we think, talked at halftime that somebody else had to step up with McCarty and Gellerman. He yep. did. And he, he did. He stepped up and, and basically he took the he took the game over and, and when he started running that opened it up for McCarty. There several times McCarty was stumbling sophomore youngster and HMS was, you know, hanging in there tough and uh, you know, it's just cause uh, these guys have kind of won my heart. I'd sure like to watch that uh, fourth down play again. Yeah, I was. I was. That was very. He, close. he had to have been holding the ball low because his helmet and shoulder pads had crossed the line, because I'm sitting right on the line, so the ball had to be behind, and I'm sure that's where the referees they're right down there. But I'd like to go home and watch that on replay because I was pretty sure he made that first down. That could have been big for him. Here's just another example of the coach that Jay Eilers is. He's out there at midfield with his ten seniors. Years, talking to them, you know, thanking them for their effort over the years and continuing the program up here. Hopefully laying a little bit more foundation so next year they can get back to those playoffs. But that's a class act out there. Seniors you know, you, all have its eyes on them too. Yeah, and you, you got juniors and sophomores that are out here on the on the goal line. Um, you know, these guys are going to be a, a, a force come next year. I mean, they got their quarterback, mm -hmm. Massberger and Gellerman Gell coming back. That's that's two offensive threats right out of the shoot. They'll mm -hmm. probably have to play some linemen. I think a lot of the line were seniors, but through the JV programs, hopefully they built that up where some guys can step in and 
give it another run next year. And th this has been this has been fun coming up here. The people up here in Hartley and Sanborn and HMS they just they're just good people and you know they roll out the red carpet for us. Very friendly. Give us everything we need to do and and uh, we really appreciate that. Again, we want to thank our sponsors and also the viewers throughout the season. Um, I hope you enjoyed the coverage we gave. Um, we got in late in the season. We didn't know what myself. we were doing. Yeah, we, we had no idea what we were doing. Uh, we knew how to turn on the lights. Turn on the lights, and that was about it. We, <laughs> yeah. And we've got Noah, Stephen's grandson here, and he's pretty much running everything, and we're just sitting here talking every once in a while. So thanks go to Noah Fuller for his expertise on the technical aspect of the games that uh, me and Brew just don't have. No. And you know, here he is again. Coach is out here, and he's talking to his young kids. And I, I, I can, you know, being an old coach, I know exactly what he's saying to him. Something about where you're at now and where we want you to be next year and proud of you, et cetera, et cetera. There's being some tears shed out there right now, I guarantee yeah. you. There goes the seniors making that last walk. And uh, across the field, they're coming. And uh, there's HMS, the seniors. Yeah, and that's a tradition that a lot of the high school programs have. They even got the, the senior cheerleaders across. out there. We had the old burn the old shoe, and we take the old shoe out in the middle of the field at the end of the game. And I think there's probably some moms and dads and grandpas and grandmas and aunts and uncles and brothers and sisters that are also shedding a tear. Yeah. Watching their boys walk across there for the yeah, last time. These kids were better than a one-win season. Yes. Hats off to them. They had some injuries throughout the year, a couple Look, setbacks. You know, and, and I mean, they kept battling. Yep. Stole our hearts. We're football fans. Yep. We saw them. They're toughies. You know, played the game. Played it hard. Yeah, we've seen three games, and they've been enjoyable to watch. They've uh, poured it all on the field. and. I know, uh, There's going to be a couple of these big boys uh, probably playing some football somewhere in the area next year. So, well, hey, we're going to sign off here. Thanks, Simon. Thanks, Gabe, for you know a great setup that you do to, to bring this into the homes of people, uh, especially a night like tonight. There's just so many folks that couldn't sit out here in this pouring rain and wind. There was a good following, though. A lot of people here tonight's game. Full sides. Well, we're signing off. Everybody drive safe. Thank you so much. Pretty much all we can tell you at this point.